So I'm working on putting a front receiver hitch on my 98 Jeep Grand Cherokee ZJ. And I've seen some kits available. There's some kits you can buy that put the receiver hitch down low up front, which completely kills your approach angle. And since this is an off-road Jeep that I use mainly for having fun off-road, I don't want to do that. That would, that would completely ruin the whole point. I, I want the receiver hitch to put a winch up there and I want it to be stealthy. So I'm going to put one right about here that just hides behind the stock bumper completely. My plan is just to have a hole behind the license plate that you can remove the license plate and put a winch there. So what I'm doing is I bought this rear receiver hitch. It's from a 2003 Ford Expedition. And I'm going to cut it so that it fits between some mounts that I had made. My Jeep has the stock um, recovery hooks. There's four bolts that sandwich this, um, I'm gonna call it a frame rail, but it's really just a unibody tube. And then on the other side, in here, is this backer with nuts welded to it. And this is all the stock part, stock tow hook. So I'm removing this this backer plate and I just, I measured it and I designed some plates on the computer. This is just quarter inch mild steel and had a place called, it's here local in Reno, it's called Send Cut Send. And they made these for me for, it was under 50 bucks. And they even have free shipping. I'm gonna bolt these mounts in here. My plan is to weld some, some nuts. The hardware is a M10 by 1.5. When I have one of these on each side, I'm gonna cut the receiver hitch to go between and I'm gonna weld it in. So the whole reason I'm doing this is I, I found this worn winch at a garage sale. And I've always wanted a winch, so I couldn't say no. It came on a, a bumper. The guy said it was for a Chevy truck or something, a winch bumper, but it didn't fit my ZJ, so I've been working on turning this into a winch receiver mount. I cut it up and it just has the fair lead part, plus the mounting plate with the four bolt holes. Just welding on some nuts. Just makes them a little easier to install. Receiver hitch is now cut to length and fit between the mounts. And it's positioned where I want it and it's ready to weld. say this $200 Harbor Freight flux core welder lays down some pretty good beads for being a 120 volt lunchbox sized welder. I'm impressed. I mean they're not the prettiest because uh, it's got a lot of splatter just like any flux core would but I mean it's got plenty of penetration. Here's what it looks like after a quick scrape with the wire brush. I just used some spray paint to mark where the receiver hitch lines up on the front of the Jeep. I'm just gonna cut a square hole here in case I have a longer um, receiver it needs to go in there and just gives it a little bit more room. So the hitch isn't as short as it would need to be to be flush with the front bumper. It's gonna poke out about an inch and a half or so. So I'm gonna cut off these um, chain loops here because I don't need them on a front hitch and they would be protruding through the bumper and I just think it'll make it harder to put the pin in the receiver anyway if those are in there. So it's all bolted on now. Went on without any issue. I 
decided not to screw this down because there's a wire loom right behind there. I didn't want self-tapping screws going back there. I think it'll be all right. It doesn't move too much. So this is the final product, and the receiver does stick out a little bit, about an inch and a half, but looks pretty good. I don't think it reduces the approach angle really, because these recovery hooks would, would hit long before the hitch. So the next project is a winch mount. 